Last week, we introduced you to a preview of our new feature we're calling Detours. Today, we climb back into that 2019 Lamborghini Urus provided by Mike Ward Lamborghini to go further down the winding path with Tara Dominguez, owner of 303 Beauty Bar. Tara shares her take on building a thriving salon in Denver that's growing even more as we head into 2020. So we hope that you're inspired by her entrepreneurial philosophy. to me just a nice the love of a nice car is something you know my little brother and I we love sports cars but just like this right here yes get it girl that is what I love I mean the noise that it makes it's just like music to my ears it's the best sound in the world and Amelia you are taking this car and cruising it I love it you were born in Guam yes how did you end up here in Colorado? Because I know your family considers themselves really to be Colorado natives. You guys have a really strong hold here in our state. Yes, yeah, so my dad was in the Air Force. Okay. And then uh, he got stationed in Cheyenne, which took us to Fort Collins, and then that took us to a small town, well, Greeley, and Eaton. My parents divorced and my mom moved to Eaton, but I mean, I consider Colorado home. Denver yeah. is, I'm in love with Denver. I love the city. I love everything it has to offer. When I think about detours, Tara, I think the path that maybe less people are on, that for me has made a huge difference in my life because people who work harder than others, people that take a different path, it's more challenging, there are more potholes, yeah. sometimes you have to even like pave the drive yourself. Yeah. Where did this vision for 303 come from? So I remember living in LA and I would walk into salons and I, you know, I felt intimidated. Um, or just it just was not always but it was a, a different vibe than what I felt comfortable me being a hairstylist I was almost afraid to be a hairstylist because of those feelings and vibes that I was getting it was a vision I'd had and a dream as a little girl and I would talk about it you know I would literally have self talks with myself about what I was gonna create when I first started I remember I thought it was gonna be perfect and it was gonna be easy and it was gonna smell like roses and it was gonna be glamorous and like nobody was ever gonna complain or Nothing was ever gonna go wrong. And then as I started getting further and further in, running a team, finances, everything, it was like I was being thrown so many different curveballs, right? And I remember thinking if every time something doesn't go my way or something like bad happens, am I gonna quit? You know, and it's like now, if I go over a speed bump, it's like motivation to push through and like get behind the wheel and drive through it, right? It's like, oh, that was exciting. Yeah. Like, what was that little bump? Let's I like, like kind of feed off that now, yeah. you know? And it's yeah. not that you want these bad things to happen, but like, I am who I am today, especially the last six months of my life. Like, I am so much stronger and better at life because of those curveballs. Oh, yeah, you are. What about other detours in your life? You recently have been using your Instagram and your online presence to talk a lot about health and wellness and how you've been eating and even like your body's gone, undergone a detour lately yeah. and I know that you, you said you're okay talking about yeah that, no right? I actually want to because yeah. I feel like it's helped a lot of people so you know last three months of my life have honestly probably been the most self-growth that I've done in my entire life yeah and you know I threw my back out three times last year ended up in the emergency room I was constantly complaining of having stomach issues and I woke up it's been about 10 weeks ago and I looked at myself in the mirror and I said, Tara, you are speaking every day of being your best, being mentally strong, leading a group of people. You know, I have a huge project that I'm starting here soon yeah. and just being like the best that you can be, right? But here I am complaining all the time about my back and my stomach and it was time to make a huge change. Yeah. Had nothing to do with losing weight, you know, it was more of how I wanted to mentally feel. Started a program, um, stuck to it, started reading tons of books, kickboxing, thinking about what I was putting into my body every single day, and I kid you not, 
I have not had a backache in, well, it's been a few months now, and my mind is so mentally strong that I always say, when your mind's mentally strong, the physical comes, right? So I shared that picture on my social media because it was, to me, just a huge thing for me to stick to it and commit and to get stronger. Your vibe of optimism and hard work and determination sticks to other people like glitter. And the way that your jacket is reflecting on the inside of this car, to me, that's honestly, like, it, it's a good, it's symbolism for you and your personality. But I want to know the story. Where did you get this beautiful jacket? I was, just gonna, jacket? I was yeah. just gonna tell you. So my glamma, glamma, is fabulous. And she directed beauty pageants my whole life. Yeah, and these are 30 plus years old, her original jackets that she would wear when she was directing oh, them. Oh my gosh. And so I try at least once a week to bring out a new one because she probably gave me 75 jackets and wear it because I get so many compliments, but the story behind the jackets, right? Like knowing my grandma wore these. I am huge on relationships and yeah. I know I truly, truly believe that when you create a solid relationship with people, they don't forget that. You know, I, I always say I could start a business tomorrow out of a cardboard box selling candy. And if I create I and have the right, could. but you know, like you we could. have the right team, the right people you yeah. invest. First of all, it's belief and you have to believe in what you're doing in the vision. Right. But it's so much more than that. And, and once you believe in what you're doing and you bring that culture and you know, you hire the right people, I invest in my team and they know that. And they know that I am transparent. They know that I'm relatable, and I tell them we can take on the world because we're, we're changing how people feel. Yeah, for sure. And that is the key. That is the key. It's all about how you make people feel. Thank you to Mike Ward Lamborghini for giving us access to their 2019 Urus, and thank you to one of my very best friends, Tara Dominguez, for pouring her heart out to inspire others in her very first edition of Detours. Give Mike Ward Lamborghini and Tara a follow on Instagram. We've got more Coco coming up after the break.